the, the most about that second technical. And it looked like you had a little exchange with Mitch, too, afterwards. Uh, just frustration. Um, there's nothing we can do about it now. What are we telling that you're upset by the refs? I don't even remember. situation you had a technical foul mm -hmm. um, just, technical um, getting ejected. I mean it's over with now you know um, it's got to do a better job you know trying to keep my cool um, <clears throat> it's very tough you know you're out there playing you know it's an emotional game and you don't want to lose and sometimes when things don't go your way you know sometimes you react <clears throat> the wrong way and you just got to keep my cool why well, can you just sum up the best way you can this entire season? It's like a nightmare. It's like a, a bad dream. And uh, I couldn't wake up out of it. You know? and that's what it felt like. You know, just seemed like nothing can go right from the start. Injuries and all that stuff. Um, but uh, we get an opportunity to uh, get some rest. Um, for guys who are injured or coming off injuries, chance to uh, rehab and um, think about, you know, what, what we can all do um, to better ourselves. It sounds like maybe you're showing some optimism about being back by saying that. Or am I reading too much in it? You're reading too much into it. What was your Guys, wait for the microphone to ask questions, please. Thank you. Dwight, is there any way the team can turn the heartbreaking season and the way it ended into something positive and come back stronger next year and prove to everyone that you guys are still a legitimate title contender? No, we, we just have, uh, well, you know, right now, you know, everybody's you know, a little, little bit upset, you know, about how the season ended. You know, so I think we're all we're just going to take some time, you know, away from the game. And... Um, just focus on us, you know, focus on getting better. Dwight, did, did, was, this, did you, was this your good representation of who you are and, uh, as a player and as a person? Say it again. Was this your good representation of who you are as a player? Uh, well, you know, it was, it was uh, a rocky year, you know. Um, a lot of things happened that I didn't have any control over. Um, I think I handled some situations good, and I think I handled some bad, you know, but it's, it's, a, it's a growing process. And um, I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to keep learning. And um, you know, that's why, you know, we have off season. We get an opportunity to reflect on, you know, on the good and bad things that happened during the season and um, try to make it better for the next year. Dwight, you talk about this being a growing process. You know, we were here when your first day with all smiles, and now, you know, we see you here and obviously not like that. Can you talk about the biggest learning that has happened for you, the biggest, what you've learned from this season? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, it's a lot of things that, you know, I learned this year. Um, next year, just got to be uh, mentally stronger, you know, to handle a lot of different situations. And um, that's about it. What was your physical state during this season? Did how much, I mean, did it improve in terms of all the things you were fighting physically? I think it did a little bit, you know. Um, coming back, you know, super early from a major surgery uh, was tough. Um, but, you know, I tried to give everything I had, you know, and leave it on the floor. And uh, I was in pain for, you know, the, the whole season. But I uh, just wanted to, you know, try to play through it, you know, and fight through it. And you know, even though I'm hurting, you know, I'm still standing, you know. Um, and I'm just going to keep fighting. Dwight, do you think there's a perception that uh, you should feel guilty for being able to do your due diligence and check out free agency? Well, you know, I, I'm going to step away from everything, you know, for a couple of weeks and clear my head before I do or talk about anything, you know, uh, as far as next season. Um, I think I deserve that. And that's what I'm going to do. How, how did your uh, <coughs> relationship with Kobe uh, evolve and end this season? And well, also, Mike. I mean, we've had a, 
a pretty good relationship um, before I got here. Um, and I think a lot of people twisted a lot of things, you know, the, the fake fights and, you know, the arguments that we supposedly had. Um, we, we've maintained, you know, a pretty good relationship. And uh, I'm going to continue to be um, be here for him, you know, throughout the, the process that he has to go through and uh, recovering from uh, his Achilles. And did his in injury bring you guys closer? Does an injury bring us closer? Did his injury make help you get you guys closer? I don't think that we were that far apart. Um, we're not best friends, but and like I said, you know, I'm going to be there for him. You know, um, having an injury. Um, it's, it's a tough thing to deal with alone, and you know, I just want to be there for him as, as a brother you know, before anything. Dwight, uh, as, as the season unfolded uh, with Coach D'Antoni and, and the type of system he wants to run, the adjustments that were made, do you feel like uh, coming back, playing under him again, can be a situation that that you know is beneficial for you? Uh, I want to talk about anything that's um, for the upcoming season uh, next or next year. Um, I just want to reflect on this year, you know, and um, just try to get myself better, you know, to come back 100%. Dwight, did you and Kobe speak after the game? Did you talk to him? Uh, I didn't see him. Okay, last question, Bill. Yeah. Dwight, did you see when you were leaving the court, Kobe was coming on the court, did you see him come on the court when you were leaving the court? No, I didn't see anybody. Oh, so you don't know, you don't, it's the timing that he came out when you left. You didn't see you didn't see the timing of that at all. I didn't even know you went out there. I'm sorry. Thanks, Dwight. All right, guys, that's Dwight.